just got back from Mobile World Congress in Barcelona and two things are very clear. One, it's freezing in New York and I need to be in Spain again as soon as possible. And two, the foldable phone craze isn't going to end anytime soon. Samsung officially kicked off this wave of hype with the new Galaxy Fold before the show even started. And now we're hearing that the company is planning at least two more folding phones in hopes of gaining an early lead while everyone else is still trying to figure out their plans. According to a report from Bloomberg, one of the phones will be a clamshell device that opens vertically with the flexible screen inside. If that sounds familiar, uh, I mean, it should. That's basically what Motorola plans to do with its own Razer-inspired foldable too. There might also be a smaller secondary display on the outside of Samsung's design, but it sounds like that could get axed if people don't love the one built into the Galaxy Fold. The second rumor design sounds a lot like what Huawei has in its Mate X. The big flexible screen is expected to cover the outside of the device, and since there's no additional display, it should be pretty thin. Presumably, that larger screen will act as one or two more standard smartphone screens when the device is closed, but for now, we'll have to wait and see for sure. Now, this all sounds like pretty standard Samsung. I mean, the company is just throwing out a bunch of different designs to see what actually sticks. One big question remains though, how durable are these going to be? I mean, even in these early appearances, you can see a crease on Samsung screens. Bloomberg says that these appear after the displays have been folded about 10,000 times. That explains why Samsung wouldn't let anyone at NWC actually touch the Galaxy Fold. If you let God knows how many YouTubers and reporters try folding an unfinished device, there is no way it doesn't crease further or break entirely. Then that becomes the story, and before you know it, the whole foldable hype balloon bursts entirely. In any case, phone and screen makers are working to figure out the best way to build foldable devices that don't go kaput the moment they're in the real world. In Samsung's case though, the plan might just be to embrace the screen's inherent fragility. One of Bloomberg's sources says Samsung might offer free screen replacements for the Galaxy Fold after it launches. Now, sending the device that you use on a daily basis away for repairs or taking it into a store for a screen swap might sound like a hassle, but it's definitely one way to make sure your foldable investments withstand the test of time. We'll see you tomorrow with more Engadget Today.